Hi, today I am show you one most popular new react video. Thank you, please see it. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Karma. Welcome to my video on how to grow on YouTube in 2016. More specifically, how to reach that first 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel. So guys, I promise you every single tip in this video will help you out. Even if you heard it before, I'm going to tell you how to do it in more detail. I'm going to show you how to do it like more effectively, more efficiently. Every single tip, I promise you, will help you out. So, if this video did help you out, guys, don't forget to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 50 likes on this video if we can because I put a lot of time and effort into every single one of my videos. So I'll like would be very much appreciated but more importantly make sure you stick around till the end because I promise you guys every single tip will help you out if you want to grow if you want to strive to be a really big youtuber like I'm not saying I'm a big youtuber I'm really proud of how far I've come in one I've only been doing it for just over a year I'm really proud of how far I've come so if you want to like kind of like get that same accomplishment feeling if you know what I mean if you want to grow as fast as you can make sure you stick around till the end because I promise you every single tip will help you out so I've got two main really big tips for you that will really strive a lot of subscribers or like bring a lot of traffic to your channel and then a few little tips at the end that will again kind of boost your channel as well but two main really big tips at the start and the first one is using forums guys now forums are so effective because forums nowadays are people go on there for how to's like trick tips and tricks and if they just want to find out information about a specific game then that is where they go so I use one called the tech game I'm not going to be linking any more down below because this honestly the tech game is the only one that I've really found that strives that brings a lot of traffic to my channel so the tech game there's so many different categories, different forums on the one website. So there's Black Ops 3, there's even Advanced Warfare, there's loads, loads of the old Call of Duty ones, and there's even GTA, Minecraft, they're the really big ones. And then they've got a specific YouTube forum as well, and there's so many different ones for different games, and loads and loads of ways you can kind of advertise your channel. So the tech game, I'd say on average, brings about five subscribers a day to my channel, and that's obviously not a huge number, but that alone, so that's what, 1,000... 500 a year or something, five times three, yeah, about over 1500 a year, five subscribers a day. That's an insane number if you think about it, especially when you're a small channel. Five subscribers a day, as long as your videos are good and you kind of invite people in and you just, yeah, just invite people in and make people want to subscribe to you. That is where, that is a place to go. Use the tech game, guys, I promise you. I mean, there's loads of tutorials on how to use it. I'm sure you'll figure it out for yourself. If you don't know how to use it, ask me in the comments down below. I will show you how to use it and I'll tell you how to use it in the comments. But the tech game, I promise you, will help you get more subscribers and bring a lot of traffic to your channel. So my second tip, guys, is the most important one and the biggest one to grow on YouTube. This is optimizing your title, your description, and your tags efficiently and correctly. So say you're making a video on Black Ops 3, how to rank up faster, how to prestige, faster so people might search for how to rank up faster some people might search for how to prestige faster what you're gonna want to do in your title is put as many different options for a search kind of option in your title as you can so black ops 3 how to rank up faster and how to prestige faster that is two different options for a search in your title of the video alone and that is gonna like bring double possibly double the traffic to your channel some people might just be searching for how to rank up faster whereas some people might just be searching for how to prestige faster you've got both of those options in your video I mean you can't just clickbait you can't just put how to rank up faster and then just talk about prestige you know what you, you know what I mean you can't clickbait but make sure you put as many options as you can in your title of the, of the video don't just spam it don't just like put capital letters and just spam the title with loads of random words but make sure you do it efficiently and correctly and make it look professional and I promise you guys more people will click on your video next up we got the tags so the tags once again like the title of the video make sure you put as many different options for your kind of video in the tag so don't just put one word Word answer don't put black opt three call of duty you know what I mean don't put that kind of thing put as many different options for a title of the video in your tags as possible so if you're doing once again ranking up and prestiging how to rank up faster in black ops 3 that is one tag how to prestige faster in black ops 3 that is another tag how to get to master prestige that is yet another rank that is yet another title a tag and there's so many different options you can do there's so many different ways you can use your tags but that is the best way to do it and I promise you I'll try and find some um, examples if I can but loads and loads of videos have ranked really high in the search so my, my most popular one was the Advanced Warfare Supply Drop opening video. That's had nearly 96, I think it's hit 96,000 views now in just under a year, which is absolutely mad. That is where most of my subscribers have come from. And that, I promise you, will bring loads of traffic to your channel. So I think from that one video, I've got about two or 3,000 subscribers. And for a small channel, that is such a big boost in growth. And I think without that video, it might be on maybe 2,000, not even 3,000 now. I think it'll probably be on one or 2,000 right now. And that video alone got me so many subscribers. So 
use your title and your tags efficiently and even the description as well. So you might notice in my descriptions now, like for the past week or so, I've been using basically just copy and pasting my title and putting it in the description of my video like two or three times at the bottom. And that's just, once again, your description can really help bump up your search rank, your like how high you come in the search. So that is one thing you can do with your description. Basically copy and paste your title into the bottom of your description. People aren't going to be bothered. It's not like you're kind of spamming your description. And you know what? Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. There's really nothing wrong with it. You can do that perfectly fine. I've, I've never got a strike for it. I don't know anyone who's ever got a strike for doing that. There's nothing wrong with it. You can perfectly do it fine. Also, what you can do is at the top of your description, write as many words as you can about your video. So use keywords so like Call of Duty, Ranking Up, Prestige, and if that's the kind of video that you're doing or whatever video you're, you're making a video about. Use as many words from the title of your video as you can in your description. So using Prestige in, Ranking Up, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, like I said. Use as many words as you can. That will rank your video even higher in the search. So that is title, description, and tags, guys. That is the most important thing to ranking up your videos higher in the search. I promise you that way you'll get a lot of subscribers from it. Now we've got just some little niggly tips that will really, again, bump your channel higher in the search or whatever it might be. It will really, really help your channel. So the first thing and the most important thing is just make sure your videos are of a good quality. I mean, you see a lot of YouTubers nowadays, or you can't really call them YouTubers. I mean, like a lot of kids more, more or less. And like, you know, fair play to them for actually trying. But when you see kind of YouTubers kind of just pointing their phone camera or even a camera at the TV screen and trying to make it big on YouTube that way, playing Call of Duty, literally a camera in front of the TV screen instead of getting a capture card, they're never going to grow. They are never going to get big doing that. So YouTube is like a business. You really have got to think of YouTube as a business. I mean, I put, I put a lot of money into my setup. I probably put close to a thousand pounds. I'm not exaggerating. That's not me bragging. That is just a lot of saving up and a lot of dedication into my setup. I promise you guys, like that is me bragging. Like you know, I'm a very humble guy. I'm very gracious with all the money I earn. Not a lot of money, but I put a lot of a lot of money into my setup, and that's just saving up. And I promise you guys, it, and, and I keep saying that. I promise. I promise. I promise. But I promise, if you put money into your setup, you haven't even got to spend a huge deal. There's a lo loads of discounted products and loads of different mics and laptops, capture cards, anything you can get for pretty cheap nowadays. Get Just get the best quality equipment that you can, so the best capture card that you can, the best mic. I mean, I'm using the Blue Yeti. Uh, this one right here. This cost me about £100 and I've had this for over six months now and it's, it's been fine. It's not the best quality mic in the world. It's great budget mic. That's what YouTube's all about. You just got to kind of budget and try and like work your way up and then when you get more money from YouTube or if you're just earning more money in real life, then you can just get better products. So I'm, I'm saving up for a better mic. I am saving up for a better microphone. But just make sure you've got the best quality equipment as you can before you even start making YouTube videos and that way if people see your videos, then they will see it's good quality if you do good commentary. I mean, I try my best to do a good commentary. And hopefully you guys appreciate that. And I think that's where a lot of subscribers come from as well. My commentary at the start <laughs> really wasn't very good. I mean, I'll try and find a video right now. Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Wheaton Karma here. And I was just thinking to myself, are people going to stop playing Black Ops 2 when Advanced Warfare comes out? Now, I know a hell of a lot of people still play Black Ops 2 and enjoy Black Ops 2. Yeah, just make professional videos, guys, if you can. And that way, if people see your videos, they will subscribe. Now, the next thing is assuming you're making good quality videos. You've got all the, all the equipment. You're making as, as good videos as you can. Make sure your thumbnails are really, really good and eye-catching. Now, you see a lot of YouTubers nowadays, like or some small YouTubers anyway, they make amazing videos. I mean, I'm subscribed to a lot of them. They make a lot of really cool videos. But their thumbnails aren't the best in the world. Not necessarily like, not professional. I mean a lot of them are professional, but they're just not eye-catching So nowadays I use a lot of bright colors I use as many different colors in my thumbnails as I can and that way It's just kind of more eye-catching so like even in your subscription box Some people are subscribed to a lot of people guys And if they're going through their subscription seeing who's uploaded and your thumbnail doesn't, doesn't stand out at all They're probably not going to click on your video. So just make sure your thumbnails are eye-catching I mean I made a thumbnail tutorial that I'll link that in the description as well like a week ago now Like one or two weeks ago Make sure you go and check out that video if you want to make better thumbnails and there's loads of different videos out there as well don't don't just watch my videos i encourage you to go and watch as many videos as you can on how to grow how to make professional thumbnails anything like that definitely go and do that and my final tip for today guys is using your face cam now this is going to be a niche subject i mean a lot of people don't like using a face cam maybe you're younger you don't like to show your face or whatever like that maybe you don't think you're the most attractive in the world and look at me i'm not the most attractive guy in the world but i use my my face cam just so that it engages the audience more they, they get your personality across it gets your personality across more rather and 
they can see your true self rather than hiding behind the camera or not really showing your face and this way I think it engages the audience better and keeps people watching for longer I mean if I'm watching a video that hasn't got a face cam then sometimes I do get a little bit bored and I don't watch the video all the way through but if there's a face cam on then I'm more encouraged to watch the video like unless it's like a funny moments thing like Vanos Gaming or Hate Story Delirious then obviously you don't want a face cam but videos like this like tutorials Call of Duty videos I love watching videos with face cam that's why I prefer like I know a lot of people probably won't agree but I, that's why I prefer Ali A over T Martin. T Martin's videos I do find not not necessarily boring but they're just not as exciting as Ali A's. Ali A puts loads of cool music on in the background he's got his face cam you can just see his body moving and like inviting you in whereas T Martin it's it's just not as exciting if you know what I mean. That is why I think face cam is very important for you to grow if you're doing these kind of videos you can just kind of sit down even like live gameplays whatever it might be face cam is definitely the way to go guys. So I really really hope this video helped you out if it did don't forget to drop a like down below make sure you subscribe as well because i do black ops 3 content each and every day guys make sure you subscribe if you want to see all of that thank you so much for watching all the way through if you watch all the way through use hashtag finger in the comments down below i don't know why hashtag finger but hashtag finger in the comments down below if you watched all the way through thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow with a brand new video